Let's get started by creating a role called admin. Um, we import the role and select our objects from Test Cafe. The role function's first parameter is the URL where a user would normally log in, and in the callback, we will perform the login action. For this example, this will include entering a username and a password into a form and clicking Submit. We're using the type text function from the test controller T, which takes a selector and the text you want entered. Then we'll use the click function to click the login button. Now in our HTML, we'll want to add some data locators that our test cafe selectors will use. You can also just use plain CSS classes or IDs as a selector if you want to. We are ready to write our first test. We'll start by creating a fixture where we'll be adding our test. We also need to tell the fixture to use our localhost URL. Now this first test will check our admin role by making sure the logout button is displayed after logging in. To use our role, we use the use role method on the test controller. Then we make an expectation that will check if the logout button exists somewhere on the page. We can now run this test using our new admin role. And there we have it, our admin role was successful.